Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm still up. I am trying to calm my, my, my mind down and, and just accept the, the whole Jesse Eisenberg thing. But I can't, man. Um, I, I sat here, I, I tried to watch um, the social network, which I can't watch again. It's it's just it's it's a horrible movie. Um, I tried to watch um, now you now you see me uh, for the third time, and I can't even I can't do that either. Um, I talked about now you see me um, I think in a podcast. It's go to check on my channel. It's somewhere in there. And I said that uh, that's one of those movies that uh, if you had an opportunity to see in theaters, you were probably in for a treat because. The entire movie, especially the ending, is just it's a surprise, man. It surprised, it surprised me like crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Jesse Eisenberg does get lost inside of his role, um, but I really didn't pay attention to him because I was too focused on um, on uh, on Bruce Banner, um, you know, uh, Mark Ruffalo, man, and and all the other characters that were in there. Even you know Morgan Freeman did a good job in that. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I just, I just honestly, to be honest, I just, I don't know, man. I'm not gonna go as far as like other people are saying, you know, you know, uh, DC Comics uh, lost the war and you know Marvel Comics wins. That's that's stupid. If you watch Man of Steel and you put that seriously, go watch Man of Steel, then try to watch any Marvel movie. Doesn't matter if it's Avengers. Doesn't matter if it's Captain America, Thor, uh, the Iron Man's uh, trilogy. It doesn't doesn't matter. Put in any of those movies after you get done watching Man of Steel and you're watching you're watching Nickelodeon. Okay? You, you know, a Man of Steel is I can definitely say it's like a, it's like Cartoon Network. It's it's like Adult Swim. Okay? It's it's like it's like AMC. When when you watch, you know, um any Marvel movie, it's like you're watching ABC, CBS, Fox, you know, networks that suck. Okay? <laughs> Let's just be honest with that. Um it's just kitty. It's kitty. It's I don't want to watch a kitty movie. I want my movie, you know, about my superheroes that I care about. I want it to be a, a little, a little adult. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't mind if, if Superman snaps the neck of a Kryptonian that's murdering innocent human beings. Okay. You know, this, 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 this Superman that we have now, this Man of Steel, is an alien. He, it's not from Earth. You know, obviously he's from Kansas, and that's about as American as it gets, but... But the fact of the matter is that it's an alien. He is an alien. Kal-El is an alien. Clark Kent is an alien. Clark Kent is just a fictitious name created by the establishment, the agenda. Okay, no, 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 let's not, let's not go there. Um, but I just, I don't know, man, I... I don't want to see Mark Zuckerberg inside of Man of Steel. And that's what I'm afraid that that's where Zack Snyder is going. Now, no, don't get me wrong. If, if, if Jesse Eisenberg does the Mark Zuckerberg, then obviously Lex Luthor is going to be something very, very different. You know? Yeah, I, I think the best... The best um, I think the best job that I've seen of Lex Luthor would be would would have would have to be Smallville, man. Would have to be Smallville, man. Rosenbaum. I think that's the one that he has to beat. And I think that, gosh, man. I think I think if you're gonna put Jesse Eisenberg right in line with just the movie versions of Lex Luthor, then he'll he'll be absolutely fine. Um, he'll, he'll, he'll blow Kevin Spacey out of the water. Um, Gene Hackman, I don't know. I, I think that that's going to be tough. If you're going with the television, I think that, honestly, to be, to be perfectly honest, Smallville's version is going to be the one to beat. That's the one that has, you know, when I think about Lex Luthor, that's what I think of. And I think that's probably why my reaction was just, um, you know, just absolutely, I lost it. I'm not going to lie. I, I apologize for that. No, actually, I don't. That was just me being real, and I'm going to keep it real. But, uh, <laughs> I just, I, I, for me, I just want to understand, you know, I, I'm going to call up um, uh, Warner Brothers tomorrow. I'll be calling them up all this entire week just to talk to them to see what's going on. I'll put the number in the description box. I just want to know what they're thinking, man. What's going on in their mind, you know? 
And 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 I wish Zack Snyder would just get on get on social media, man. Just get on Twitter and just put out a couple of tweets, man. You know, and just you know, just calm us down, man. You know, give us something to to hope for. You know, we're not done talking about this. We're gonna continue it. We'll be back in a second. Let me know what you think.